largest gun reform legislation in nearly 30 years is getting closer to President Joe Biden's desk. It sure is. Enough bipartisan support last night earned a gun safety bill Senate approval. Evan Link is here in the studio this morning with this LAX 18 update. Christia, last night's 65 to 33 vote moves this gun safety package to the House floor this morning, exactly one month after 19 kids and two teachers were shot and killed at an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas. 15 Republicans joined all Democrats in passing this bill. In fact, hours before that final packet passage, the Senate voted to end a filibuster by GOP Sanders to kill the legislation that also passing 65 to 33. Some of the highlights of this multi-million dollar package are adding more gun restrictions for domestic violence offenders and adding tougher background checks for young adults trying to buy guns, in particular, 18 to 21 year olds. It also puts millions toward improving mental health services and school safety, which was a key point that brought Minority Leader Mitch McConnell across the aisle to support this bill. We're considering a bipartisan bill that will make our country safer without making it any less free. This is the sweet spot, Madam President, making America safer, especially for kids in school, without making our country one bit less free. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the bill will be brought to the floor this morning, but there's already rumblings from top House Republicans urging a no vote on this legislation. Okay, so Evan, all this week, Senator McConnell, of course, has been, you know, trumpeting this as a, a, as a wonderful thing, a landmark victory, he's saying. So what else can we kind of get from him? Yeah, that was really a big word, a big yeah. phrase from Mitch McConnell mm -hmm. yesterday. Sent a lengthy statement out yesterday after the final passage. Landmark victories, not only with this legislation, but also with a Supreme Court case going through yesterday, cracking down on restrictions, removing restrictions for concealing carry in New York. McConnell saying bipartisan talks started up after mass murder incidents in the past. However, this one feels a little bit different for McConnell. Those past ones collapsed due to what he called Senate Democrats insisting on attacking the Second Amendment. This time, McConnell saying there was compromise on the part of Democrats and that they, quote, accepted the reality that Americans do not have to choose between their constitutional rights and safer communities. They can have both, end quote. All right, Evan Leake live in the studio this morning. Evan, thank you.